So, for my first video, I thought I would share my experiences of being an au pair and how I got started into becoming an au pair and the reasons behind me wanting to become an au pair. Firstly, um, the reason why I mainly wanted to become an au pair was because I kind of didn't really want to do the job I was doing anymore. Um, I'd been doing it for a while and I wanted to change but I didn't want to go back into the same old kind of job of an office um, as it was not quite what I want to do. So I decided that I wanted to go travelling. Um, but the next problem was I didn't have anybody that wanted to go travelling with me. Um, there were a couple of possibilities but they were kind of like, you know, Amin and Aaron and then my my like best friends, they were they were getting getting married that year in like the next couple of months, so they kind of weren't an option for me. So um, I can remember my mum was speaking that when she was younger, she was going to be an au pair in America, but she didn't in the end. I then went around one of my like best friend's house, and I just started talking about being an au pair. And then normally I kind of say that I'm going to do things, and then I don't do them. Um, but I was like determined to like do something. So I decided that I was going to be an au pair and I created a profile on Au Pair World. So being an au pair I thought was the best option to be in a different country and also travel around in that country. So once I'd created my profile on Au Pair World, I put down where I'd like to go. So I clicked France, Spain and Italy. The place I really wanted to go to was Italy, Rome. And that was because my brother speaks Italian. He served his mission um, in Milan um, for the Church of Jesus Christ for two years. And he also met his wife on his mission, um, or his now wife on his mission. Um, and she obviously served in Milan for, for 18 months. Um, so I had a good connection there as they both spoke Italian. And uh, Rebecca was an um, Italian teacher at the MTC in Utah. Also, my grandparents served a senior couple mission in um, Rome twice. I felt like I had a good connection uh, with Italy. And when I came here when I was younger, I can't remember how old I was, but at least 10 years ago, I, um, I really liked it. Not that I remembered much. I just remember I liked the ice cream. And I loved sitting and having like a giant pizza to myself and I can just remember seeing pictures of me with like ice cream all over my face and like this giant pizza. Um, can't completely remember the actual trip um, but I just know that I really liked, I really liked Rome and I just really want to come here because you hear so many stories about Rome and how amazing it is. So I decided to come here. After talking to a few people um, in Spain and here I decided that I definitely wanted to go to Rome so I kind of cancelled the family out that I was speaking to in Spain and um, I was only speaking to one family from Italy and they were the family that I ended up going to and I went there for ten and a half months so from September 2015 till mid-July 2016 um, and it was a great experience I would definitely recommend being an au pair to anybody that wants to be an au pair you can do so many things in the day um, so I worked for an hour sometimes an hour and a half in the morning and then about four hours in the evening um, and then I did extra babysitting at night time whenever they needed it but generally you're normally free during the day so you can go out and explore I always had the weekends free so I could see Ricardo on Saturdays and explore different areas of Rome or outside areas um, and also I had Sundays free so that I could go to church also, which was which was great. Anybody wanting to travel but not knowing how to travel, I would definitely recommend being an au pair. You don't have to stay in one place for 10 months. You could stay in Spain for the summer and then you could move to um, France for another three months until winter, um, like Christmas time and then go home for Christmas and then after Christmas go to go to Italy you know you can go to so many different places you can just like hop from place to place 
and I think it's a great way to, to travel and to, to earn money. Sometimes families may pay for your flight, um, but generally you normally have to pay it for yourself. In au pair you don't get tons of money obviously, but you get, I guess you could call it pocket money, either paid to you like weekly or monthly. Um, and that way it's definitely enough that you can go out and explore, go and eat food, um, go on day trips or just to visit like a little museum that you have to pay like four euros for. Um, I never used any of my own English money, never. It was always the money that I earned. If anybody has any questions about becoming an au pair, um, leave a comment in the box below and I will be sure to check them out. If you enjoyed watching this video, then give us a thumbs up and click subscribe.